complex entities, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about that. It's a description of a kind of group. Well, basically, it's your interaction with a group on Facebook, uh, from your profile to groups on Facebook. And we're going to talk about that and the bans that people are getting. Complex entities, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new thing to talk about. Report from Tiger Mountain. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I guess this follows on from what I was talking about, media censorship and that we're living behind a new kind of iron curtain. I mean, very strangely, about six weeks before the US election, I got a ban on commenting on what are called complex entities, which basically the report from Tiger Mountain's page on Facebook, that's a complex entity. If I, you can, I can comment on that page, I can switch to report from Tiger Mountain, I can comment under report from Tiger Mountain, but if I comment under my own profile, I'm not allowed to. It says, oh, I'm not. And it says I'm not allowed to until December 20. 6 a.m. on December 20. And it doesn't say why. It never showed me any proof of why I'd, I wasn't allowed to comment in complex entities. I mean, I don't often make comments on, in, in other groups, but occasionally I do. But I've noticed I'm a member of Doctor Who groups. I can't make a comment in a Doctor Who group about a new Doctor Who DVD or Blu-ray that's coming out that I'm looking forward to or something. I can't even do that. It's some strange ban. And I'm not the only one. I've spoken to many, many people who, who are supporters of Trump or conservative. They have received this ban from complex entities and this happened almost six weeks or to two months before the election and I believe shows complicity once again with um, you know big tech and um, you know big social media with um, you know censorship and they knew a fix was coming ladies and gentlemen and this ban on complex entities is is an absolute proof of it I think and I haven't seen a single report on it in any newspaper even in alternative newspaper newspapers or in alternative news media like uh, the report from Tiger Mountain so I wanted to bring it up um, I'm sure many Many of you have had bans um, from commenting on complex entities. And why is this? It's, it's like they don't want us going to various Trump groups or various Democrat groups or even going to Joe Biden's page. You can't leave a, a comment on Joe Biden's page saying you stole the election or whatever if you're a Trump fan. I mean, I mean, I'm sure not every Trump fan on Facebook has had this ban, but I think key ones have. And obviously I'm probably, for whatever reason, because I'm a pretty staunch Trump supporter, in Australia, uh, I've been um, slapped with this ban, I was given no reason, and it exists until 6am uh, or something on December 20, which I think after that time, the election will be decided one way or the other through the courts, and also the results will be uh, confirmed by then, I imagine. So this is it. Um, there's this kind of strange thing going on. I wanted to put the call out there. Have many of you, uh, anyone else out there in, in Facebook media land, had this ban? Leave your comments in the comment section and, you know, share this video. So, um, you know, I just think people should know about it. I think it was very strange to get yet again a further proof of, um, you know, big tech and big media, uh, social media's complicity with um, trying to steal the election for Joe Biden. So that's what I want to talk about. And this is a report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.